Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to be doing another jean video for you guys. It's been very requested since my first one and I am happy to oblige. My closet, as you know, consists of mostly denim. So today I am focusing on my Levi's collection. I constantly get questions from you guys about the different styles I have, so I thought that the best way to answer all your questions would be to show you the different pairs I have, what I love about them, what to watch out for if you're ordering them online, and how to care for them and all that jazz. So let's get going. All right, so first up are my Levi's 501 skinnies in 100% cotton. So I do have two pairs of these. I have one in a size 25 and a size 26. I'm pretty true to a 25, but when it does come to Levi's and their 100% cotton pants, sometimes I have to go to a 26. For these 501 skinnies, I wear my 25s more often, but the 26s I got first because they didn't have a 25. If you are looking for a looser fit, I'd size up. So this is what they look like. They have a five button fly. So another thing for you to note is I did cut my 25s and I left my 26s how they normally come. So the 26 still has the hem intact with the distressing on the bottom and my 25s I cut with a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back. Just because the way that the 25s fit, they fit a lot more fitted and I thought that a more cropped look would look good. So these are my size 26. You can kind of see that they are a little bit looser fit. Very like vintage feeling, which is great. Because I haven't worn these as much now, like I already feel that the thighs are a little bit tighter than they were before. And that does happen with cotton denim. They do shrink back to shape if you don't wear them for a little bit. The thing that I love about these are the knee hole. So, this knee rip and this knee rip are kind of are basically the best distressing I've seen in a pair of denim for the past couple years, I'd say. Even my other cotton Levi's I have, the rips are great, but they're just not as perfectly placed. The wash doesn't make them stand out as much. So these particular pair of 501 skinnies are seriously the best I've ever seen. I have two pairs and there's a reason for that. So these ones are my 501 skinnies in the size 25. They're definitely more fitted than the size 26. Even by like the ruching you see around like this general region, like the waistband doesn't come out as much. And even though the cotton has stretched, it doesn't stretch to the point where it sags at all. I still like the look of my 26s, but this is this 25 is the pair that I wear out like to events and all that stuff. You can see that I cropped these. I'd say I cropped them to probably an inseam of 27, 26. This is the ideal length for me wearing loafers and ankle booties. So yeah, it's a tough decision. A lot of you have been asking me if you wanna buy your right size or size up for these. I will tell you they definitely stretch, just depends on how patient you are. So these ones took, I would say, wearing them at least twice a week for a month, if not two months, for them to like start to be like really care like comfortable, like I can wear them in the car and drive like an hour, hour and a half. Before that, like it was tough to even like sit like this. I would like really have to hold my stomach in, um, but that's just the nature of buying 100% cotton jeans. They aren't as comfortable as if you buy like 2% to 4% elastane jeans. They just aren't. There is a little bit of a learning curve in terms of how to break in 100% cotton denim. It isn't comfy all the time, but they are worth it, I promise you. So I can't talk about my Levi's collection without talking about the Levi's wedgies. They're probably one of the most popular styles out there. I still personally love my 501 skinnies more. The wedgies I love because they're super high-waisted, but there's just something about the fit that still isn't the most comfortable for me, but I wear them more like when I want to look a little bit nicer in my jeans because they are very flattering jeans. So I have three pairs of wedgies. Um, two of them are like one to 2% elastane, and then the third pair that I actually picked up in Orlando are 100% cotton. I'm gonna talk about the two most classic wedgie pairs that I have first. So this pair here I got from Maritzia. 
They are part of the White Oak collection. White Oak makes really, really like sturdy, thick, beautiful denim. But the thing is with White Oak, because it's so thick, they are super tight. So I have worn these maybe once. I haven't worn them again just because they're so tight. They're so hard to break in. Um, it's gonna take me a while, so I'll probably, we'll just keep these on rotation. So the thing that I love about this pair is that because it does have this really nice distressing here, I feel like it makes my thighs look smaller than they are because it has a dark shading around here. And these ones have a raw hem. So I don't usually roll them up or whatever, but if you are shorter than me and you want them shortened, you can easily just cut them yourselves. It's an easy like one length cut and they're not too skinny that like you have to like maneuver your scissors around them. So this is definitely a great like going out blue denim pair just because of how nicely fitted they are. So you can see how they are definitely very, very fitted up here, still fitted through the thigh, and then it, they just kind of straight, almost go out straight down, but they are a little bit tapered. If I unroll them, you can see how perfectly they fit right at my ankles. I am just under 5'6", if any of you are wondering, and these ones fit perfectly because this is how I'd like to, them to fit if I unroll them. So if I roll them up, I do get that extra tapered look, but they are still like long enough to be considered, I would say long denim. So next I'm gonna talk about the wedgies I picked up in Orlando. So these are the wedgie straight. So I saw the wedgie straights online multiple times. I just didn't know how this wash would fit on me or look on me because wedgie being how high-waisted they are and how wide the leg is um, they're not always flattering on me so i wanted to try them out and they're 26 by 26 so they're super short you'll see when they're on me but i thought that'd be really cute in the winter with like a little bit higher than an ankle boot so they meet like right in the middle so i thought that'd be very perfect beautiful distressing here and it's super because they're straight leg they are wider than the other wedgies that taper down. So this is what the wedgie straight looks like on. This wash is slightly darker than my tapered wash but, and lighter than the 501 skinny wash. I really do like these. I've found the exact same pair on Shopbop, so I'll link them below. I am a big fan of this pair here just because they're a little bit more high-waisted than my 501 skinnies which I always, always like. And the wash, because they're 100% cotton, you get these beautiful rips in it and the rips aren't too big. I tried on another pair where the rip was like my whole thigh, which I wasn't a fan of. This is what they look like from afar. So when I told you it was a 26 inseam, this is how short they are on me. So they almost, almost count as floods, I'd say. And I think they look really cute with loafers because it shows just enough of my ankles and then I still have to try and style them with boots but you'll see them in my weekly what I wore video so don't worry about that but yeah I am a really really big fan of this pair and I can't wait to start having them in rotation and last but not least are my Levi's tapered these are my lightest wash denim that I have in my closet like throughout other than obviously white jeans but in terms of my blue jeans, these are my lightest and probably lowest rise jeans. They're still medium because the 501 tapered, like even though the leg is a little bit tapered, I think that they do sit lower than my 501 skinnies, but not by that much. The butt pocket is quite uniform shading, which is I think very important when I'm looking for jeans to look for like a uniform distressed butt just because sometimes when they like try to do some masking distressing for you it doesn't turn out too well especially because you are wearing them it does tend to get lighter in the butt already so if they're already light there it kind of ends up not lasting very nicely all right so these ones are a size 25 by 28 length a lot of you do ask me what the inseam is so these ones are 28 and they, I would say they fit pretty perfectly for me. These ones are also 100% cotton. So most of my Levi's are 100% cotton, if not 99 or 98% cotton. And that's how I like my denim. 
So you can already see the difference between this and the 501 skinnies. They definitely fit lower waisted than the other ones. So I love how these taper, hence the name. <laughs> the 501 skinnies are a little bit more straight legged. Even with the wedgies, they're a little bit wider too, I'd say. I'd say that these are really great for weekend looks. Just a little bit more fitted, a little bit more flattering than a regular boyfriend pair. I think that this is kind of like what I've evolved into. I've had a bunch of boyfriend style jeans that I think are just too baggy now. So this is like my new alternative when I'm looking to wear something not as form fitting, like in this region and my thigh region. All right guys, that is my Levi's collection. I hope that you enjoyed my review of all my jeans. They are definitely the most worn denim in my wardrobe. So if you are deciding whether or not to get a pair of Levi's, I will say yes, just because of the quality, the fit and just the longevity of how, how they wear and how much they get better with time, which doesn't happen with a lot of jeans. A lot of jeans stretch out and then you don't know what to do with them anymore. So anyways, let me know if you have more questions. I am happy to answer them. I can't wait to make more videos like this. If you like this video, leave me a like and a subscribe so you know when my next ones come out and I will see you next time.